my favorite sandwich since I was a child on the East Coast. I call it, I don't really know what it's called, chicken, chicken uh, or pizzerias and they would deliver it to me. I don't know what it's called. I call it the Staten Island Sub. Do you ever have one of these loaves of Italian bread? Let's go ahead and cut it. It's a little crusty. After we're done, I'm making bread crumbs out of it. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have chicken cutlets and we're gonna pound them so thin like a cold cut. And as we do that, we're gonna egg wash them and then we're gonna dredge them in these delicious oven roasted bread crumbs that we're gonna create out of this somewhat stale Italian bread. Let's begin. Hey, shut up your face. I'm setting my oven to 375 degrees. A nice organic, extra virgin olive oil. No propellants out there, whoever cares about the environment like me. Use this, get really nice coverage. Salt them. We want to flavor all our food. We don't want to just flavor some of our food. We Pepper! Yay! And what would make breadcrumbs even better is some delicious, mind you, organic oregano. <laughs> and put them into the oven. Let's begin on our next thing, the chicken. Let's do a good amount. I love eggs. I don't like eggshells though. What? I get a little over ambitious, so eggshells tend to drop in. You might get a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it adds to the crunch, right? You know, people are like, ooh, it's nice and crunchy. Oh my gosh, right. I mean, I made it this way. Let's do four nice eggs. I salt and pepper everything, I'm sorry. Even my egg wash. I like everything to be seasoned. Spinny spin spin. Antibiotic free chicken. Get yourselves one of these, or a hammer, or a pan. We're not gonna go crazy so it splashes everywhere. We're just gonna go nice, tender. This is food. This is love. There's some nice little taps. We're tenderizing. We're making sure, and remember guys, chicken breast, if you don't cook it right, you're gonna overcook it and it's gonna be dry. And I was like, hmm, that's really good. Mm, but in their minds, like, geez, you really overcooked it. No, it's it's not dry. Right. But with what I'm doing right now, this little tenderization process, because what we're already doing is we're breaking apart those really dense proteins. And then and when you're done, you just kind of want to run your finger through it. And if you feel like lumpier parts, and we're looking for like a nice uniform thin. But if you feel lumpy part, like right here, let's go ahead and just give it a little bit more love. Some good old fashioned hard loving. Here we go. Oh, feel it. Nice and smooth. Just a little lump right there. This is good for everybody out there. You gotta feel for lumps. Every day, you gotta feel for lumps. So now, we are just gonna, we're gonna bathe, bathe them. We're gonna give a nice long bath in this egg. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. But before I do that, I'm gonna take those two pieces I just took out because I'm a trickster. No, actually I'm forgetful. <laughs> you want to lay it out, you want to take your salt, and you want to visually salt it so you don't have too much, just a nice even spread. Visually. Always salt visually. Now, let's go back to our bath. Nice egg bath. Let's put in each piece separately so each piece gets a nice coverage of surface area all over with that nice yolky loveliness and even our eggs are seasoned. I season everything because I just love seasoning. I don't like bland food. I like it simple and I like it flavorful. Big, bold, delicious flavors in everything I do. Otherwise, I can go in a corner and eat some Amazon cardboard boxes. I'm walking over here. And that's it. We're going to put this, smoosh it in. That feels so good. <laughs> oh. Our bread looks like this. Everybody get a good look. Hard, crusty. That's been seasoned. You know me. I love to kiss. I love to kiss. Kiss! 
Watch the other episodes, you'll know what I'm talking about. Stop it! Of course. There we go, get in there! Right onto that sheet that we baked them on. But we're gonna fill up nice. We're not gonna be stingy here because we're kind of frying a little bit, I guess you would say. So it's just a good coverage. I don't see any stainless steel showing. And I got this nifty little thermometer here. And if you, oh, 300, 329, perfect. We don't want it to go over 350, 375, 358, 353, 360, beautiful. Let's start with three here. So we're gonna dredge one side, flippy, get enough over there. Here's a nice one. So let's just kind of do the three at once. Over here, over here, over here. There's two. Dredge, dredge, dredge. Nice Italian breadcrumbs. Away from us, not towards our faces. Away from our beautiful, precious faces. Boom, boom. Beauty. Squish some of that dredge in there. Oh, I see a little naked part. We don't like naked chicken. Dress it up. You don't want to go outside naked, do you? Ready? No pink? It's so thin. So I have this nice wire rack to let all the oil drain. Nice, nice. Oh, it's uh, some nice onions, thin as paper slices. Ah, uh, will some of you guys support me already so you can get a sharp knife? What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining us for this next episode. What's up, Talon? Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, do you know what this is and the sentimental value it holds in my heart? Do you know what this is? It looks like a sub. It looks like a sub, so you're on the right track. But, let me tell you, it's no ordinary sub. I grew up with this sub. I even named it the Staten Island Sub. A lot of love goes into it. A lot more love than just throwing some cold cuts together. So, I want you to try it and tell me what you think. Because when I was a kid, it was my favorite thing ever. It's going to be a mess. I don't have any napkins, but we'll worry about that later. You ready? Yeah. I want to hear what you think about it. Try to get some chicken in it. If you can hold it together. Well, mm-hmm. Memories coming back. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? It's actually really good. Mm-hmm. It brings back memories of pizzerias and bagel shops on every corner. I'm originally an East Coaster, and most of them had different subs, different hoagies, meatball subs, and then there was this, the chicken cutlet sub, aka the Staten Island sub. And here I am bringing it to y'all, all around the world. It's simple, it's delicious, you don't have to make your own breadcrumbs, you can just sure buy them in a store, just go get some Italian breadcrumbs or even Italian panko breadcrumbs would be great. Um, but use everything I use to make it legit. You like it? Yeah, good. Talk to the people, tell them. Besides, good. I want you to use at least one more adjective besides the word good. Okay, this food was amazing. I can definitely taste the mixture of the lettuce, the chicken, and onions. Mm -hmm. Do you like the breading on the chicken? Yeah, I was about to say this. The, but the breading has to take the dub. It's the best. Sweet. I appreciate that. Guys, check it out. Try it out. If you want us to try some other kind of sandwiches from your neck of the woods, let me know. I'll do it. I want to taste it. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. And bye. bye.